after hearing a crying and begging Andrew Olness the pan him knee yeah man the man figuratively speaking the pan him knee I beg the Jamaican people for voting the GLP again him Andrew Olness who have been an antagonistic leader to the people of, of this country, Jamaica. And after eight years, Andrew Olness come for call just a little teeny, teeny local government election. After eight years of pilfering the coffers of the Jamaican economy, where him and him friend them, belly bang like them, bang belly rat. And come now, I beg the people them for another chance. People of Jamaica, if Uno ever put in this man here in a power back, not even for control back the local government, Uno for give him the power, don't give him. This man here is a man where Uno not supposed to trust with not even, not even on a plate with eat and left in it, not even if on a cook some Akian saltfish with with little white rice. Don't get Andrew for carry because I'm gonna eat out all of the Aki. All of the Aki much less if on the game one Kentucky box. A chicken. I'm gonna yam it down. And left you know, with pure box. Because after so long, this man here really come back. And I beg the Jamaican people for voting the GLP government back to control the parish country uh, uh, um, of this country. But I may tell you, you know, listen, listen, what go on. In terms of the approval processes, but we have seen significant improvement over the last eight years. And because of the measures that we have put in, strengthening the capacity of the local authorities, that is why productivity, peace and prosperity is on the upward movement because the local authorities contributed in terms of building approval process, $1.6 trillion to the Jamaican economy under the, the, the leadership of Prime Minister Andrew Ones. never before. And all these policies, colleagues, have been able for us to build a better country. I am not here today to tell you that we have accomplished all that we want. You've been listening to the Minister of Local Government and Community Development, the Honorable Desmond Mackenzie. Why am I not telling a lie, Star? And you all this wicked enough. The After the man takes so long to call the election, a little and local government election, that the, the man really come back and I beg and I beg and beseech be to the Jamaican people for give him another and chance. And well, me want to find and out, and you know. If the Jamaican people, them are really idiot so, and jackass, if them really are going to give Andrew Olness another chance for pilfer and uh, 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 make him and him friend them and him, and him big man, big man friend them, near out the country, thief out everything out of the country. May I tell you now, Andrew Wallness, boy, I don't know, know where I go tell God. I don't know how you sleep all right in your bed at night time. 
Me no know how you sleep in your bed. Boy, I never say a man, hey, and your wellness is a tyrant, you know? Hey, this man here is one of the wickedest man ever walk the planet Earth. And your wholeness. Boy, boy, may I tell you. That has demonstrated the capacity, the understanding. I I I see the one in him, Desmond Mackenzie him. Boy, him have a him have a thing for tell God there. I hope say De, Desmond Mackenzie. Boy, may I tell you. When when the mania help Andrew Owens to rob out the country, the mania, the mania don't know when is enough is enough, you know. Them green people yeah, don't know when enough is enough. Me I tell you the truth, them now no conscience. Is 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 like them now no family. And them not enough friend for say, yo, leave some for the Jamaican people. Lord, may I tell you, man, this man, Andrew Wallace, him squeeze out everything, every life out of the people and out of the country. Hey, I want to tell you now, we need to check out myself, you know, and find out if him sell we yet. Because Andrew Wallace, it, for the time when I'm just going, the man sell out everything. Can, thank God for the maroon them in a in a compound. Them them can wall out. Cause MP caretakers. Cause you see Andrew Wallness and the foundation is a is a crook. It's like Henry Morgan and Pupa. Andrew Wallness. May I ask you something? You and any man a family? We need for no you know. If 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 your great 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 grandpapa was a buccaneer, boy the we are you thief. Boy, may I tell you? The Jamaica Labour Party. First of all, you look beautiful. You look Organized. You look purposeful. You look ready. The Minister of Local Government has ceded some of his time to me to make a brief presentation in my style. There are some points that I want to quickly go through. First of all, we would have had this election long ago had it not been for a global pandemic an event that is a hundred year event no other government in Jamaica has had to treat with such a global pandemic and we handled it very well to the point where Jamaica seems to forget that we have had a pandemic. And so there is quite a bit of conversation going on without the context that we kept Jamaica safe, but more than that, we recovered Jamaica stronger 
than before the pandemic. In this business, nobody is going to give government credit. Government has to explain to the people it is an eternal obligation for government to explain to the people the backdrop and the context of the challenges, the plans and programs and policies to overcome, and the successes that we have managed to achieve and that which will come in the future. We can't be shy about it. Our light cannot be under a bushel. All of you in here are candles for the Jamaica Labour Party. You represent the light of the Jamaica Labour Party and you must shine in every corner of Jamaica. There has never been a government of Jamaica that has had so many achievements to go and face the people with. You are well armed to go and face the people of Jamaica for any election. You represent a government that with great challenges we have achieved. We don't need to go to the people with deception. And I tell you this, I gave last year an instruction to the Jamaica Labour Party communication arm that we must reform and revise our communications policy to take out of it false and deceptive information. You will not find the Jamaica Labour Party promoting, circulating, distributing false, degrading, nasty lies about people, programs, policies or anything. We do not do that. And there are many members of the Jamaica Labour Party that I have had to personally call up. We don't need to do that. When they go low, we go We must communicate to the people the facts. And in this world of social media, where grievance politics and negativity sells, we have to work even harder to make sure that our story is in the forefront of the minds of the voters. So you face a difficult task. But you have to be constant. You have to be persistent. And you have to be consistent in giving the people the facts. As you prepare to face an election, it is important that you understand that you are part of a bigger picture. A pixel in a beautiful tapestry that is going to be created for Jamaica. You are an important part of it. And there is a mission that the entire organization is geared towards. And you need to understand that mission so that you can properly articulate the mission. When we started on this journey, and I assume the leadership of the Jamaica Labour Party, I had to go and do some deep soul searching. 
Why did I want to become the leader of a country? Why would I dedicate my life to this? And I had to properly define it. I was born in Spanish Town, and I like to tell the story because I don't tell it enough. And there are people who are trying to tell my story, trying to define me. And I listen, I see all the lies they publish, all the falsehood and false narratives they carry. I don't always respond because I don't go through third parties. I talk directly to the people of Jamaica. When the people of Jamaica see me and hear me and touch me and feel me, they know I am real. I am from them. I am like them. I went through their struggles. I understand their struggles. And I'm true to them. I am your son, I am your brother, I am your uncle, and now I could be your father. By the experience of the That's 1980s, growing up on Compton Road in Spanish Town and, and then moving to Encom City and witnessing and seeing political violence up front firsthand. She's a whiz. Like thousands of Jamaicans having to go to school to your mother never had to move to get to take taxi. Oh. And wash that uniform and iron it. Then and you want this a ball? What a man lie! What a man lie! I know what it is not to have lunch money, but nobody in the world would ever know because even though I was poor, I was proud. And you, every time you change your story, every time you talk about your granny, you talk about your your father. So when I say. I love the poor. No, Andrew, too late. You understand what too I mean. late. Too late. What a wicked man. Andrew, he's a tyrant. Why you come begging now election time? You could have up on your knee. You could have up on your knee. My soul searching. Soul searching. What I need to do for my country. Go jump off in the sea. That was the mission. And you want to go jump the off in the sea. Was to move Jamaicans. Are you for move? From poor thinking. Poor thinking. Your teeth in your ass. Move Jamaicans from poverty to prosperity. You are your friend, them pocket full. On a belly bang, on a bang like rap, can't run. What it's a just, wicked man. My belief, one DJ said it far more eloquently than I could say it. Every ghetto youth is a star. No, no. Stop you, Jimmy Cliff. Andrew Wall is a youth, Jimmy Cliff. No, don't do it. Get a youth you're going to know, and you use SOE. And you only see you use SOE for the ghetto you them. And you use state and emergency for the you them. Not prosperity for some caponaris. Not prosperity for some big shot. Not prosperity for a few. But prosperity must be shared for all Jamaicans. No, Andrew, no, Andrew, no. No, Andrew, no. No. He's a wicked man. Andrew, you're wicked, so. Are you and Juliet all this and your friend them are prosper? Prosperity. 
Therefore, was the mission. The mission to make the poor to move poorer. Jamaicans from poverty. You just to repeat yourself, sir. And your fear and equitable shared prosperity. No. We recognize that to do that, we couldn't do it by ourselves. This room, though important and representing a significant part of the political capital of the country, we alone couldn't do it. And therefore, it was important that this message also be accompanied by another message, partnership. We don't want a partnership from you no more. So as we reflect we don't want it as a political organization, we move from poverty to prosperity. You to just live on that, sir. Partnership for prosperity. That was 2016. And you only see, you need a towel you to wipe that you your are tears. An important part of a movement. What a beggar. He's a Your beggar. Journeyman in this struggle to make Jamaica better. Journeyman. Journeyman. And in that partnership for prosperity, there are some elements that we have to deal with. Too late. Too late. In my late. 2013 or 2012, I believe it was, conference address. I said that the Jamaica Labour Party. You remember nothing, you're too wicked. Bro devil. Bro devil. Tyrant. Tyrant. Andrew Netanyahu. Like a lofty dream. Andrew Netanyahu. Andrew Netanyahu. Now listen to me. Andrew Netanyahu. If you know my story, I shouldn't be standing here. We don't want to hear your story. We don't want to hear your story. Your story is a liar story. Your story lie. But you tell lie by your granny. The grace of you God. tell lie by your mother. No, y'all tell lie. Y'all tell lie by Chimmy too. You no pissing so, at Chimmy and Johannes. You do lie. You no pissing at Chimmy. You tell lie by and Chimmy. That we can end. Absolute poverty in Jamaica. No, not with you, Andrew. And with not that with you. Not with you. Mission. Mission. I know. You accomplished the mission already. You make the poor poorer, poorer that mission. and the middle class poor. And seeking that to build is your mission. With the church, with the business communities. That's why you got the church. NGOs. We could come up with a plan. You left out the ghetto you them now, you bugger, yo. You see? You never it? wonder why. You, you see it? We established You don't mention the ghetto you them, you see it? The poor people them, are you and the church? You ever wonder and why? And the rich is people them, the business people them, you bugger, so yo. So directly on providing houses for those persons who live in substandard housing you provide us about the little one one board us and the luxury them condition that is what are the worst house them government ever been poverty. pure one bedroom pit when pure you one bedroom pit every week almost tile it your bed tile it that a deserving family moves out of cardboard and ratted zinc into a proper structure. In a, in a board or some pit. The Nikos them, the Nikos them can't build the whole of that. Contact us developers and small builders. Contact Coast to Coast group of companies for high quality concrete products. The time by... Anjo, the house them can't build the wall. Can't build the wall. Build the wall. You're too wicked. You're too wicked. What a wicked man! That everything can be free and immediate. What people need in order to maintain faith in a system is, is, is get rid of you. Get and I'm rid sure of you. We are that every Jamaican is you know. in need of a social house, an indigent house. 
sees a program. Everybody want an indigent house. A decent you feel for fair and joke. Not indigent. Decent. Angie, you want to go back to school. Not indigent. Indigent is for all people. Decent you feel for Angie. You can't fuse. You can't fuse, Angie. We are coming. We are working. We are building. We are doing it. Eight tier, eight tier, and the thief so much trillion. When I said to Mr. Charles, listen, when I go around, people complain bitterly about the PATH program. That should be the flagship program for ensuring that we lift people out of absolute poverty. No, Anjo. You have to, uh, I'm happy to see you can't have nothing that to go Minister on the Charles PATH program. Charles has started the consultations for the reform of the PATH program to ensure that the true beneficiaries who are out there who are not on that program will get on the program. When you go on the PATH program, you can't have TV, you, ever why it is you can't have free. That go ahead. Introduce something go ahead. You do friggin' lie. The social pension. Where persons, I believe it is 75, 75 and above who were not contributing Get your facts right, get Anjo. Get your facts morning. right. You two lie. Lie, lie. He 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 but the most important thing that we have done is thief all of the money in Jamaica. If thief all of the money in Jamaica. Because it is in our DNA. For thief, GLP. This is what thief, makes us who thief. we are. Yes, we know that. The GLP of thief in our DNA. Have a Christian ethic. That drives our political philosophy. No. And it says, the JLP of teeth in our them growth, DNA. We shall eat bread. Oh, 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 oh. That's so when our teeth are working on our work. powerful epic. And that is what makes us proud, even if we are poor. Angela, and that is what that makes word. us strong. That word there is not for you, Angela. And believe that word in independence. That word is not for you, Angela. Because we believe that, that we can convert you. our labor into value. We can use our labor to create wealth. That's what we believe. And so the greatest program, the greatest result of this government is to get our people employed. Satin, a few days ago, released another record-breaking unemployment number, 4.2%. In my lifetime growing up, I have become used to double-digit unemployment. Satin a lie. That is not something that anyone can undervalue and diminish. And it is something that this party must say over and over and over and over again. More people are employed in Jamaica now than any time before in the history of Jamaica. We have other challenges coming because of this full employment. I have avoided using the term full employment because, you know, there are people who really, you know, the slightest thing, they come and cloud the conversation with foolishness. And then it takes my time now to have to go and respond when I have other things to do. But really, we are at that technically in full employment. No doubt, there are some youngsters there that we need to bring in. There may be persons there we need to reskill. 
and, and bring in. And we have started to put programs in place. We have been anticipating that you take to bring them the in to the system so you that we can get the benefit the of their labor too much, you take to continue them too the much. growth Love of them the economy. Now. Lord, them go look at all but people for vote. Bear this in mind. Lord, they pick me them and stop all When them. you put someone Mother in a job, I want that. That Juliet, is the most effective Juliet, way give of the kerchief. ending absolute poverty. Give the kerchief. What a man, Lord, Mr. start seeing the man of God. It Voting. will not happen overnight. But if you allow it to continue, if, if the electorate we now make it continue. is discerning of what we are doing, understand what we are doing, and see the pathway to it, and don't get diverted and more diverted in the 70s, Go ahead. we could have been like Singapore, yeah, don't call but we Singapore wandered Singapore off don't call Singapore into there. fancy. Don't call sing Singapore name. Move. And rhetoric. Move. No call say Singapore name. Can if I Singapore you Singapore. Move, they, you, they, them no put has your, them put you upon fire in squad. A GDP. Any of you the any of Jamaica was like Singapore, you go up and fire in squad. Go ahead. Than most developed and countries. Stop call say, say Singapore name. If Jamaica was, was like colonized. Singapore, you go up and fire in squad, you and some of your ministers, them are not too Yes, they're better than yes, them better down on a peer team. They may have made better choices than oh, me. Singapore. Have. Of course, it's Singapore. Move. Jamaica needs a long runway, and we need to stick to that runway. Not with you, To no. make sure not with you. that the benefits not with of you. the policies that are in place not with can you. be realized. And you put it there. You not put it there. A Porsche Simpson, Porsche Simpson and Peter Phillips put it there. Go ahead. So, you damn crook, yo. When we Watching face the electorate thief -like. in 2020, the high-level message was still there. Partnership for prosperity. No, uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. But you uh -uh. couldn't face the electorate the without understanding and the pandemic. And it turned to poverty. And therefore, the message then was recovering stronger. That was the message, recovering stronger. The message that people understood. And then we changed the message close to the end of the campaign to just stronger. Because the truth is, and it continues to be, that this government, this Jamaica Labour Party government, this Andrew Holness led government, and the thiefiness, who need a set of Henry Mark and who not thief. This Andrew Holness government will go down in history as the most cruel and the most finger fearing. Who the two thieves? As the stronger recovery was there for all to see. We don't see nothing. We don't see nothing. But a pure soldier and police. As a result of the pandemic, pure SOE. we had a fallout pure SOE. in the global supply Not chain, party. which precipitated Slide green massive and the whole inflation. The party while we then we had a war in the house during the pandemic. Go ahead. In Europe. Go ahead. I move. Damn jackass. I mean, I mean, can you imagine is. one government in a small country just recovering from an economic crisis, having to deal with all of these things? But we dealt with it. You stay too long. Because pound for pound, you man for man, when you look at you the Jamaica Labour so Party's cabinet, you never for the government, so it is far superior at this you than anything else election. that is out here. Chatting. Chatting. And that is not just talk, that's substance in. of what has Chatting. been delivered, which cannot be questioned. On a belly bang like rat, on a teeth like rat. I don't like have to rat. go through with it. We have Reduction set the in cat pound up. On a thief in how rat. many quarters of consecutive growth that we have had. You're you going back to the that again. of the international rating agencies. The people who know about economics, what they say about what Jamaica has done. But 
but there you go. The essence of it all is that we are able to run the economy for eight years without saying to you, the consumer, pay more tax. Some, some people forget what it was like between 2013 and 2015. But we must remind them when they open the mouth and talk all kind of nonsense. Now, there are some challenges. Everyone here in local government, when you go out into the field, you are going to be, I'm certain, accosted about roads. And the way in which the conversation about roads is, is carried, I mean, I sometimes have to shake my head because it is carried without context. And I just, I'm just going through, I, I, I downloaded some articles about protests for roads. And I found a few of them interesting. I want to share one or two of them with you. This one is an article April 29, 2013. Who was in power then? It says, St. Mary residents protest against bad roads, lack of water. Who was the MP? For St. Mary Western. Blame game. This it is says, a blame game. Gail St. Mary residents of Mile Gully, Georgetown, and Jackson Town in this parish yesterday blocked the Tresky Main Road in protest over what they said are very poor road conditions just, just and lack minister. of water in their communities. This is 2013. The residents used a large tree to block the road, disrupting the traffic flow for hours before it was cleared by the NWA. The Member of Parliament, which I won't name, for Western St. Mary at that time, in which the communities are located, said he has since requested an estimate for work to be done on the road from the NWA parish manager, which he will present to the Ministry of Transport and Works. He said the estimate was expected to be completed the next day. And but while promising that he would do all the can't to use Julian Silvera and win no election. Go ahead. You can't use the roads Julian Silvera. The has not undergone major work at, at since Julian the Silvera. Yeah, 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 go ahead. A theme constituency. Move. I raise this because the country can't use which him which name. A different the conversation thing. is going Julian on about and Silvera and the protests. And the part, part it's as if this just happened you yesterday. You can't use Julian Silvera campaign. I, I toured Hanover. That's the business with politics. I won't say that. I said before, no. a lady, a returning resident, she saw me in the market and she made sure in the strongest terms to register her disgust of not having water. Bring her up on the stage. A lovely a peer, community a in Hanover. A that you're going with. PR. I checked it out and PR, just PR, took her that had so water for a long time. Your PR stunt nah, nah work now. There are many communities like that. PR stunt can I work did no point no out the stunt number PR of work. other communities that we are bringing water to, including a massive pipeline relaying in passing Berlin at the high school I promise and several other to a major pool. developments for water and in the area. And you remember, say we got good school. In other words, promises are compact to what the government can do no begging. 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 No
no begging, no begging. Woo -hoo. No but begging. The frustration of the people is palpable, it's real. When you get up and you don't have water, you don't care about that context. You no just want your water. water. No. No water in their boat, no. No water in their activity. They just no want water, 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 no. Boat, no. And so as counselors no and council no caretakers, no, MPs no, and MP caretakers and people who Janet, represent uh, February. You have to first. appreciate the emotion no of the problem the, first. In a West King So you have to agree, no water commiserate with them. East Kingston. But no water you wouldn't have heard the situation if you didn't bring them in a and to the contextual and understanding of the problem. Where? Because if you allow them to vote on the motion, give this man it no. they will vote man. in a random way. We we want this man. We want this man to announce the election. We want this man. And that man. is always we a threat want this to man. democracy. Make this the man randomization come off of the stage, you know. Come off of the stage. We want this man. Go. We want this man. We want this man to announce the election. Come off of the stage, you know. Consistent and constant information flow about your plans, your successes your achievements and all that you're going to do to address the problem. And you must be respectful of the voters' feelings. You have said that, Jesus is. So, i give you another one. I, I just want to, to do this because, you know, just listening to the conversation sometimes, it's, it's you know, my duty is more than just seeking political office. Talk about you and Juliet Teffin. My, my duty is to make Talk sure Talk about you and Juliet Teffin. Talk about the six. You shouldn't even be in front of so, you now, Atta. I'll give you another You another shouldn't one, be in front of you. And listen to this You one. should have their prison. You, tell me about the six. Tell me about the it's six. It's a little time to, Te, you, you to your, load, but here it is. Load, load. Le, le, and, um, yeah, yeah, this is a load of shit. Know about this one. It's a load of shit. Yeah, leg out of your mouth. One Eleven big miles load of residents shit. protest dust nuisance, bad roads. Yes, Juliet yeah, When was this? Juliet yeah, campaign for now. No, when, when? You can anybody can Juliet, guess what this was? Ju you see, I tell you this about the wife and husband. This was the 22nd of July, 2014. I tell you about the wife and husband. I tell you about the wife and husband. You, you would have thought that now. it was last year if, if or the year before Juliet, when no. we started the South Juliet, Coast Road Improvement Juliet, Project. Make sure, sir, Anjo, if you're yeah. not, if you're not talk for Angry me, residents you know, of 11 you're not miles in Pool Bay, St. Andrew, yesterday talk, took to the streets, talk, streets to protest the deplorable road no. conditions and Juliet, long-standing no. dust nuisance there that have been affecting Juliet, their health. Juliet, Juliet, you see what Juliet, I'm saying about the context and what you hear and what they put on social media. The dust problem of the cars this and the road where I go to St. Thomas. I will not do it. This has been going on from 2014. But what is the difference? It's not just sufficient for me to come here and say, well, this has been going on, so therefore don't blame me. Yeah, shit What's out of your mouth. You just said. Well, let me tell you what the difference. You just said, yeah, it a take time the government for the up. Pure shit that you have elected. Yeah, yeah, shit out. Responsibility. Yeah, shit out, shit out of your mouth. In 2013 and 2014, they said they were going to do something about it. What you man have But which PMP? government? Andrew has cry, actually man, done it. something Don't about. cry, Andrew. Don't cry. Don't cry, Andrew. Juliet, give me a towel for drive. We now have the spark program. Juliet, give me a towel, no man. The man who wants a towel for dry my. Chairman Montague, the member of parliament, now for the year. He was the member of parliament then. Will now have those residents, instead of them going out to protest, they can now participate in a new model of how public resources can be allocated, especially in these critical priorities of roads, to determine how the first tranche of $150 million that will be allocated to, to his constituency will be spent. And it is highly likely that that road, what's it called? Mile Gully. Mile Gully. That that road 
will be included on his priority list. Don't be Andrew, it's tired down now. If it is not done. People, you know? Oh no, we are talking about in, in a parliament. We love Member the people. Parliament. We love the people. They must keep on the guard now. But if you want to, and 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 you want Uno Anjo but is a disgrace to the GLP. Is going to you and finished. your government. Uno thief like rat. Look on the belly of bang. Uno can hardly walk for yeah. campaign. Uno and can hardly walk. And I see the council for the area who was quoted bang in the article as well. Uno, uno bang belly rat to no that damn tyrant. Jason Watch James, you know? that, that tyrant, road you know? will be fixed. No. Bad up the peace to them. Bully. Bully. So the residents at the Never Miles were complaining Andrew about the us bully. in 2014. Andrew the bully. Bully. When you, you look at that beautiful me. stretch of road that has now built the South Coast Road Improvement Project, the people there in 11 miles and all of that stretch, they are seeing the benefits of a government that takes responsibility and acts. And know we and John I want to start it. A Porsche seems so the difference familiar. Is a Porsche seems to start it. In times it. gone by, I know you, you were struggling if I alone without hope. Road, no, Bill, you, you, without you real see, prospects of what change you do happening. Your jam, on the damn and why was this? Also, no? Because our economy was floundering. Watch my blame again. A pure blame. No. And because you made a good choice to put a good team in, to properly manage the economy without being a burden on you, but bringing more resources. We are now able to put in place long-term programs to address these long-standing problems. Call it, Anjo, call it. Call it, Anjo, call it. I really have... I really a Why local government here buzz, buzz so over. I'm to when the general come. You are going to roll in the dirt. Why disrupt that? You are going to roll in the dirt. If I can, a local government here. You have with this long chatting. The la it. This is the largest ever allocation to repair roads. The largest ever. Repair. But glad you know. <laughs> but glad you say it. Are you say it, you know. Repair. And not build. You know, I don't want to say everything here because I do have a budget speech him say to make. People listening, you know, I repair But I want to share with you one other, one other thing because stop, stop, again, the conversation shit. needs to be put into context. Remember you say, I'll share remember this one you with say, you. Repair, remember. So this one is about new health. road for bill. New road we want for build, not repair, you damn jackass. You and I see Minister Tufton here, and you will be very interested in it. Don't mention him name. Don't mention Hear this one now. Head no of the School of Public Hospital. Health Don't mention Tufton and name. And Health Technology Don't mention at UTEC, Professor a theme, a Winston Davidson. Says the bed situation and you the bed it? capacity in the four major government hospitals in Western Jamaica is now board. assuming crisis proportions. Yeah, crisis. You know when this was said? This is last week. Since week. You're this joker. was said June 29, 2013. I like that. I'm fussing a history here, sir. I fuss in a if and he went on to hospital. You're too lie. Yeah, I mean, he said something You're that I found lie. very interesting. You're too lie. About I, I the first the U.S. Go, um, government tell tourists the population said, increased by 40% since 1974 to now, and yeah. services have not been yeah, replaced yeah, with yeah. these demands. People, now listen to him good. Listen he him spoke good about the Cornwall Regional Hospital that at that time he said was built 40 years ago. The Cornwall Regional Hospital has a bed complement of 417 and the rate of occupancy is 91%. In other words, it is a facility that is the main hospital in the Western region, which is almost always full. He said no major repairs have taken place in that hospital since it was built 40 years ago at the time. What is different now 
yes, we still have bed shortages. Yes, patients have to wait. We appreciate Pan that. Floor. And we, Pan floor. Pan floor. Mention the cardboard. Our people that we Mention understand the struggle. Mention cardboard. Pan floor. But what is different? The cardboard. Is that for the Pan first floor. time in 40 years, the because cardboard. our economy is doing well, Ca yeah. we are able to invest in healthcare in a big way. When you visit Cornwall Regional, when it is almost finished up, it is a total transformation. We have taken a building. We have spent billions of dollars on it to improve it. It starts at 14 it In addition start to that, we are billion. building the and Western now a Child and now. Adolescent Hospital, which will increase capacity for service in the Western region. We are, we are building and expanding a type 5 clinic. I toured there a few weeks ago. And then look at Spanish Town Hospital, where we get so many complaints about the emergency room situation and the lack of beds and so forth. Pure PR, yeah. We are building pure, pure. a brand new wing. Pure, Massive. Pure. pure PR. The people then tired. And now the, the, the administrations before didn't do that and couldn't do that. They could only talk. So you are now in a totally different era of government. An era created by the Jamaica Labour Party. An era of stability and growth that needs to be continued in order to ensure that we achieve our mission of prosperity for all Jamaica. I just use those two examples to try and bring the nation back to reasonable conversation about the challenges that exist. Too late. Getting Shall closer now to cry. local government Too as we approach late. the people again to ask for Shall their support. What is it that we are saying to them for this election? Too late. Again, Too the overall late. needs too are still late. there. But now we Anjo, say to the people of Jamaica, too late. Too we late. are building a full on a belly till for the you run. and your community. It's a bill for you and your friend them to keep the money. It's a bill for you and your friend them to keep the money. Very important that you are a part of the equation. You, the people. And that mission is one that involves things like your parks, your community parks and national parks where you can go and recreate with your family. It was my great pleasure to officially launch the start of the Port Moore Resilience Park. Andrew Wolnes, and you have, you have shot with the shot Harmony you in shot this remember. beautiful parish and just see shot. how it has transformed the space and how the people are transformed in that space. That's, that's you in the equation. That's the building your community. That's the fire stations that we have built. St. Thomas, Hanover, all over new fire stations. It's the new police stations that we have built. It's the schools that we are upgrading. Lord, him go for God say build. <laughs> and we want to continue to build for you and your community. Go build tiles for the people. They must Spanish town. Cause you say you used to shit, shit in a chimney. Travel, go build some tiles in Spanish TV. town. And you see the infrastructure in other countries. They look modern. You don't see nothing. Everything straight and clean. And you say, well, I've been a one see you know, because the quality of life that I am enjoying here, I want, I want, to, I want to enjoy a better quality of life. 
Radio. You're listening to Power 106 FM. The time is now 3.30. Coronation Bakery. Bakers of good quality breads, buns, food. People, I want to me I tell you, you know. You see, if you don't give this man a chance again, you know would a wicked to yourself. Because if you don't listen to the man, I cry. Almost two hours, the man, man, they, they attack, you know. Two hours, the man is a bully. He not make none of the other people them in the party talk. This man here is a bully. This man, Andrew Olness, is a bully. The man no want nobody else to talk. He's a bully down all the party. Me telling all the while, you know. Anjo Nathan Yahoo. Are the new name that film. Anjo Nathan Yahoo. It's too late. You're crying out too late. Too late. Shall be your cry. On both sides of the story, Power 106 FM. And let's get straight to it and say hello, good afternoon, and welcome to our host on Your Legal Corner today. <laughs>